Okay, so you just bought that brand new Everlast MTS 275 and it shows up. Let's take a look at what you got in the box and what you might need to add so you can get starting on your next TIG adventure. like a little something came today we'll have to get it out okay so out of the box you get one big beautiful green Everlast machine multifunction with a nice big compartment for all that MIG wire that you're gonna use It is a beast too, it's huge. So what else did we get? One nice MIG gun, grounding clamp, one water-cooled torch with your torch attachments, flow meter and a gas hose, stinger for all your stick welding pleasure, really nice pedal, Control your high frequency starts and it's a motor pedal. So you did get the upgraded pedal with it. And of course, if you really want to run it on 110, you can run it on 110 too. But nobody wants to do that, so we don't need that. So with that pretty MIG gun specifically, you're going to get three contact tips. Um, the gun comes with a 0 .035. 0 0.040 and 0 0.045 contact tips to go with that wrench. And the drive wheels inside the unit also uh, come for those sizes. Okay, water cooler. What did you get in the box? Well, you got the cooler for sure. And let's see. It's got a nice little cord adapter back here. Plug into the back of the welder. And you got your hose connections and your hose and your manual. So what's not in the box? If you're new to welding, uh, you might want some of this information, or if you're switching processes and you think, well, what else do I need? Um, well, let me fill in a couple of the blanks. May seem like Captain Obvious, but to some of you, you might appreciate this, what you might want to buy. Um, so let's take a look at what you might need. All right, well, first of all, if you're doing MIG, you might want to get uh, some MIG gas. Uh, in my case, uh, I bought a bottle or had a bottle of uh, 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 7525 mix uh, for that. I didn't have uh, any reason to keep it on an old welder, so I didn't need to buy a new one, popped it on the new one. But for your TIG, you're going to need some argon gas, and so that's probably a new bottle purchase. Uh, if you didn't have one laying around, uh, make sure you factor that into your budget. So that cooler, it's going to need some antifreeze. So you can pick this up. I got this at uh, uh, one of the welding supply stores. Um, pretty easy to come by. You'll need a couple of, couple of gallons of it. But what if you want to change wire size? Let's take a look at that. You're going to need some MIG wire. Um, if you're not into running 035, 040, 045, you want to go down to 030, definitely going to need to pick that up. And along with it, you're going to need some new contact tips. Um, you don't get 030 or 024 uh, in the box, uh, so you're going to have to purchase these. Uh, I purchased these from Everlast. Uh, took a little while to get them, but they got here. In addition to that, you're going to need some new drive rollers. Um, not a big deal, uh, but just be aware that the 030 and 024 do not come with this particular unit. And finally, uh, if you're TIGging, you're going to need some filler wire. Um, the, um, the box doesn't come with the uh, tungsten, uh, and it doesn't come with any sort of you know, gas lens or anything like that, or filler wire. So if you want to upgrade to those things, uh, that would be an additional purchase as well. In my case, I decided to go for the uh, gas lens kit. Uh, this one comes from Everlast. Um, it also includes your tungstens in 16th and 332nds and 1 8 inch diameters. So, kind of give you a little bit of a starter kit for, uh, for TIGging and uh, kind of replace those standard cups. 
So there it is. That's what you get. That's what you need to buy. And uh, yeah, once you get all that together, I think you'll be ready to go out and stick some metal together. I hope you enjoy doing it. I know I do. And uh, we'll see you next time.